Welcome to our Magic 8 Ball project. In this project, we are going to write a program that mimics uh, a Magic 8 Ball and some of its relatives, like the Sarcastic Ball and um, the ex Excuse Ball. So, because we have different types of balls that have different colors and different an numbers of answers, we are going to make an abstract class and then use the principles of um, polymorphism to um, subclass out a general magic ball. So we're going to say public abstract class uh, magic ball. And notice the use of the word abstract in our abstract class. All right, so we'll need a uh, variable to uh, store the number of sides in our ball. So we'll say private final int max and we'll set it to 20. So you can have up to 20 answers for your ball. And then let's see, we'll need some fields and a place for our constructor and then our methods. So for our constructor, we're going to say public magic ball. And notice that it doesn't use the word abstract, and of course, it doesn't use um, any type of return type like void or int. Uh, so it's pretty much like a normal constructor, even though this is going to be an abstract class. And then we'll need to use the call the word super. This allows us to access um, the parent class. The parent class for um, most objects in Java are java.lang dot object which is the very top class in the Java hi hierarchy and then we need a method that is going to set our ball face down so we'll say public void set ball face down because before we can get the answer we need to turn the ball upside down and so we'll set our answer is equal to zero and our answer is going to be an integer that we access based on a random number so we'll need to go up here to our methods and type in um, we're going to type in protected this time and um, final int uh, answer, but no final. So we'll do semicolon because the answer is going to change. So we don't want to use the final keyword. Okay, and then we need a method that's going to um, turn the ball for us or, or mimic that process so we're going to say public int turn ball and then answer will be equal to one a particular integer and we can do math dot random times max plus one and then we'll return the answer um, let's go ahead and put in our assessors and mutators for our fields so um, because the first one is um, final uh, for our max is final we, we're not going to be able to um, change that but we can have an assessor for it so we can say private int max or get max and we can say return max and answer um, we can have an, an assessor so we'll say get answer and we'll return answer. 
And all this does, it, this is different than our turn ball method because the turn ball method is going to change our answer. So in, in that instance, it's our mutator. Um, this assessor method will just return the last answer that we had when we turned the ball. So in that case, we don't need to write a mutator for our answer because that our mutator here is turn ball. So let's go ahead and save this before we go any farther. All right, and then we need um, a couple of methods that we're going to overwrite in our ball. So then we're going to say public abstract string get answer and protected abstract int num answers. And num answers is a method that will overwrite in each ball because um, each of our balls may have a different number of answers to choose from. And then we need a two string method. Oops, and we already have a get, get answer method here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, remove this assessor because we're going to handle that assessor here in our ab abstract string get answer method. So we're not going to have a typical assessor method. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. And then we have public string to string. And we're going to return um, actually get answer when we print out our ball. So let's go ahead and save, and that's it for this session, and we will see you next time when we will make some, um, use this class to make specific balls, like sarcastic ball. See you next time.